The Rock has returned to WWE and teased a huge WrestleMania match. Elsewhere, an NXT champion has been pulled from New Year's Evil. And we have an update on a major new AEW signing. It's all in the wrestling news. Hello everyone, happy new year. Jack and Ross here with some wrestling oh. news. It started off, it's well, it started <laughs> off big, Ross, because last night on WWE Raw Day 1, we saw a former WWE champion, but we saw... We saw, let's go with the first one. We saw a WWE champion return. This was peak wrestling, this. This yeah. was peak wrestling. I had it teased for a few days now. A former champion's coming back. Could it be John Cena? Could it be Stone Cold? Batista, Could it be Batista? Batista? Yeah, all these massive names. And who walks out first and foremost? It's only Jinder Mahal. Yes, and as his music hit, you saw the crowd... And, oh. and you saw them go, no. <laughs> now, fair play to Jinder for being up for it. Because, I know. Yeah, yeah, I can't feel good. It's a horrible commentary on how the company see him, the fact he's been used for a massive troll job mm. on day one of all the days of the year. But it is, it was a lovely bit of booking, I thought, because yes. it was like what Vince McMahon would have done back in the day. And Triple H has seen that, and he's played it to his advantage. Yeah, it's quite <laughs> self-conscious or quite self-aware yeah. booking, yeah. Uh, it was initially Jinder Mahal. He cut a bit of a heel promo. But then, of course, he was cut off by the return of The Rock, who came out, had a bit of a back and forth with him, hit the... <laughs> hit you did, the... Your day one douche, yeah, your day one douche, that's what he was calling him. It was uh, a great time. Hit the people's elbow, and then before leaving, this was the main newsy bit of the segment. He said, when The Rock goes out for dinner in the great town of San Diego, should he sit in a booth? Nah. The crowd didn't cotton on at that point they went oh you heard them go yeah maybe if you want should he sit at the bar you yeah, know, you know yeah. the rock loves the bar yeah well, I love one too yeah yeah and then he says no maybe he should sit at the head of the table and at that moment Cody Rhodes dropped to his knees looked to the skies and screamed no why lord why mm. commentary also acknowledged the comment with Wade Barrett saying in the style of Paul uh, in the style of Paul Heyman call Roman Reigns Oh. This is the WrestleMania main event, isn't it? Cody Rhodes will not win the Royal Rumble. CM Punk will win the Royal Rumble now. Go on and face Seth Rollins. I, Cody I, will do something else. <laughs> this is just my own guessing, but I always thought Punk would win the Rumble. Mm. And the Cody, but then I agreed with what I think you were saying that Cody would have to fight through Elimination Chamber to get that title shot. Yeah. What now? There's still the chance of a triple threat, but that, it seems like the one main event is sewn up there being The Rock and Roman Reigns being involved somehow, whether Cody's in there to make it a three-way, who knows? Oh, imagine protecting Roman Reigns by having Cody pin The Rock. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Yeah, actually, why, not? why not? Yeah, set up a rematch at SummerSlam, why not? So immediately, the, the response that I saw online was people saying, people rushing to say, this doesn't need the title, Roman versus Rock. It doesn't need the title. It's massive enough anyway. And But that, how do you do that? Do you have... Do you have Cody versus Roman night one, Rock versus Roman night two. I guess you do. That's the only way to do it, isn't it? You can't have Roman drop the title before WrestleMania, surely. No, surely not. Uh, Roman no. did respond on Twitter with just the crying laughter emoji, which he's scared. Really. He just really enjoyed the promo, didn't he? It was mm. great. He was like just having a go at him for, you know, being a, a day one douche and other things like that. And <laughs> day one douche. Yeah, he's a big smelly man and all that sort of stuff. Um, <laughs> we'll have to wait and see what happens. <laughs> it's definitely thrown up some big questions on the road to WrestleMania. It was uh, funny how it came about though, because that picture came out over the weekend of Dwayne with Nick Khan lingering in the background. I was like, oh no, mm. what's happening? And it looks like it's happened. Big Nick's got the job done. The, the, if there's one thing to say about Nick Khan, He's not afraid of taking a risk or, or, or going in big with CM Punk, which they, who they didn't need to hire because they're raking in loads of money anyway. Mm. And now The Rock uh, for, a, a well, it seems like a WrestleMania match. It's it's all kicking off. Uh, there was some bad news on Raw, but we have an update on that as well. Imperium were facing the tag team of Jey Uso and Kofi Kingston. During the match, uh, Vinci, uh, it seemed like, landed awkwardly off a drop kick. Uh, and the match was thrown out by the referee. It looked as though he might have suffered a concussion, people were theorizing. But Vinci did give us an update on social media. <coughs> Sto bene, grazie mille. Mm. That was very good. Cheers. Which is translated as, I am fine, thank you. So hopefully, you know, hopefully he is fine. Yeah, it looked like a bad one. The Kofi sort of doing a drop kick off the off the mat. Giovanni mm. Vinci's coming off the second rope. Looks like he clocks him right in the chin. Gio's head sort of stots off the mat as well, to use a Geordie phrase mm. on, a, on a video where no one understands that. It bounces. Uh, so yeah, hopefully he's all right. Well, he says he's all right, but it did look a bit, uh, bit touch and go at the time. It's always especially a concern when a match is stopped, but I guess it's a good sign of the times that even if it's not an injury that might keep him out for very long, they're still taking and all the precautions. Oh, That's yes. good to see. Uh, now we're going to talk about, well, your nomination for promotion of the of the year last year, yep. NXT. Um, 
Um, you laugh at that? Nothing. One of the champions has been pulled from the upcoming New Year's Evil special, and it's the NXT North American champion, Dragon Lee. Uh, but it's not due to an injury. Yeah, he was sent a team with, or a team with the LWO against Drew Gulak, Charlie Dempsey of All Japan Pro Wrestling. What was it? He My went, God. He went over to All Japan, challenged for the Triple Crown. Did he win? Well, I've not heard anything since, so I'm guessing. <laughs> oh, I don't know if it was for the Triple Crown. He went over and wrestled, certainly. He looked the part, though, walking down the ramp. Oh, looked like, yeah. It looked like it was 1987 all of a sudden. Yeah. Anyway, Drew Gulak, Charlie Dempsey, and Damon Kemp were going to take on the LW with Dragon Lee, but the announcement came out on Twitter which said, Sad news to kick off the year, but due to visa issues, I'm unable to leave Mexico right now. Poor Esso. God, I'm speaking all languages today. Mm. I will miss NXT and New Year's Evil, but the LWO has a big surprise for the NQCC and the NXT Universe tomorrow night. Who yes. the hell are the NQCs? Is that oh, what they're called? The No Quarter Catch Crew. Is that oh, what they're called? you missed the last episode of the podcast. They're yeah. suddenly now renamed the new, the No Quarter Catch Crew. Sean needs to stop doing this. <laughs> He's giving Avarain the general managership out of nowhere and just giving them random names out of nowhere as well. Well, it's a, but it's one of those shooty amateur grappling names, isn't it? The it no does fit. The, the shoe does crew. fit. Yeah, maybe he's trying to make them their version of the BCC. <laughs> um, do you reckon, though, just speaking of the BCC, mm. someone who used to be in the promotion that they do the wrestling in was Andrade El Idolo. Mm. <laughs> I think what a way it would be to have him re-debut in the <laughs> WWE by having him be on NXT this week. Oh, but it would make sense, though, the LWO. Yeah. I suppose so, yeah. I didn't even think of that, because everyone was just assuming that he would show up last night. Yeah. And Ray's injured, isn't he, still? Mm-hmm. Who else is there? Carl, is Carlito still out? Oh, yeah, Carlito. Yeah, yeah it's probably more going to be Carlito. Yeah. Well, we'll have to wait and see, because uh, they've not been shy about having big names on NXT this past year. So, uh, Also announced for New Year's Evil, we've got uh, Roxanne Perez versus Ariana Grace. Oh, it's classic stuff. Tiffany Stratton versus Fallon Henley, and if Stratton wins, then Henley must become her servant. We've never seen this gimmick done before in NXT. No, no? No, Never. And then I, uh, sure, oh, you know, yeah, it didn't happen, yeah. never, it didn't happen. I was thinking more of Prince Amin versus Gabriel Kidd. Classic, <laughs> classic stuff. Uh, NXT Men's Breakout Tournament Finals as well, with Riley Osborne losing, uh, sorry, taking on Oberfemi. Surely He's Oberfemi's going got to a get win. flattened. Oh, Oberfemi's got to win. Be Priestley be out there having to scoop him up with a spatula. I think you mean Blair Davenport. That's what I meant. Yes. Uh, the NXT Women's Championships on the line as Lyra Valkyria defends against Blair Davenport. Riley Osborne will be out there <laughs> with a spatula, re spatulaing his partner. And and the NXT Championship will also be on the line with Ilya Dragunov taking on Trick Williams. A match that looked in doubt at first after mm. Ilya Dragunov was work injured by, um, what's he called? The Brawling Brute. Come on, you can do oh, it. Oh, no. Um, he rhymes with a kitchen appliance. Oh, Ridge the Fridge, Ridge <laughs> Holland. Uh, but the match is now going going ahead with Dragunov taking on Trick Williams. Could Carmelo Hayes get involved? We'll have to wait and find out. He bloody well will do, won't he? He's not a trustworthy man. Nah. Uh, now back to AEW with an update on a signing that's or a potential signing that's been kind of dominating the news recently. So after reports the contract talks had stopped, it seems like Mercedes Monet, formerly known as Sasha Banks in WWE, and AEW are close to a deal. Fightful have reported on this, Ross. Yeah, they say Mercedes has been Mercedes has been in conversations with the WWE about potential return to the company. However, the two sides were far apart on terms. In following up, we've learned that Mercedes Monet has continued conversations with. All Elite Wrestling just a month after it looked like the two sides couldn't come to terms. Beyond that, those in the industry we've spoken to say that All Elite Wrestling is likely the landing point for Mercedes Mene. Fireful haven't been able to confirm that she signed with AEW, but there's been several instances lately where new stars haven't signed contracts until literally the day they've appeared. Uh, I only knew one of the... Uh, CM Punk signed his on the day that he came mm. on Survivor Series, but apparently Will Ospreay also signed his on the day that he showed her. And good on them. Yeah. Not leaking it to the dirty sheets, that's good for wrestling. Absolutely. Yes. Um, there'll be more news later on today. Uh, Tom Campbell, I believe, will be on that news, but right now he is he is on a Northeast Institution metro radio. <laughs> no, I'm, but it's really good. It is a good. metro, yeah. He's yeah. sat in the hot seat that Grace, like Tony Horn, used to sit in back mm-hmm. in the day yeah, when absolutely. I was at school. All the Tom. Yes. All the Tom. All the Tom, all the time. <laughs> uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you had a good break over the end of December and a good new year and everything. And yeah, we'll be back with lots more content going forward. Leave your thoughts and opinions in in the comment section down below and we'll see you very soon.